All right, switching gears again now to expand more on a topic that we touched on last night. Our Kyla Boshi, you might have seen, interviewed a retired federal prosecutor who worked on a lot of cases involving violent left wing protesters, specifically groups that became known as eco terrorists. And for the 112 people who move to Oregon every day and probably have no idea what I'm talking about, eco terrorists is a movement in the 90s and early 2000s where extreme environmental activists used violent means to defend the government, or excuse me, the environment. Definitely the environment. It was a rather infamous chapter in Oregon's history, like the 1998 burning of a Forest Service building in Medford, the torching of an animal research facility in Olympia, also in the late 90s, or that one there, the toppling of a BPA tower in 2000 outside Bend. Those were all high profile incidents from groups like the Early Liberation Front or the Animal Liberation Front, and the KGW vault is full of stories just like them. Take a look. The FBI is looking for those who torch these $30,000 SUVs Friday. It's the second arson in less than a year at this Eugene car dealership. Among the potential suspects, the Earth Liberation Front. Our investigators, as well as those that are, we're working very closely with, are very familiar with different elements uh, out there that, that could potentially seek some publicity in various ways. It's very much in line with something that could be claimed by the Earth Liberation Front but it wasn't, just the same sort of political ideas. Members of the Earth Liberation Front say it's okay to destroy property in an effort to save the environment. It draws attention to their cause. It inflicts economic damage. The third goal in a lot of these actions is to create an atmosphere of threat that says if you're an entity out there, if you're somebody else who's destroying the natural environment, you may be considered the next target of the ELF or a group like them. ELF is a group of people who, because peaceful methods in their opinion have not worked, uh, they have gone one step further into attacking property. Dr. Gary Perlstein, a sociology professor, studies groups like ELF and reviewed the written anonymous claim. And I think that's probably what happened is members of their group found a few other people to help them and they went out on their own. All right, so interesting. By the way, if the vault ever jogs your memory about something else in the Northwest history and we get awesome vault ideas all the time into our email, let us know and we'll try to dig it up. Just use that hashtag HeyDan or email the story at KGW.com. And one of the emails that we might be getting was, yes, it is the Earth Liberation Front. May or may not have been written in the prompter as early. I may or may not have had a Ron Burgundy moment and read it as written. So much fun. It's almost the part of the show where we read what you have to say to us. So get out your phones, tweet at us, use the hashtag HeyDan. And let's be honest, your phone's probably been in your hand the entire time anyway. So that's kind of how these things go these days. We're going to finish up the story coming up next.